minutes will now be recorded. Hi, and good afternoon. This is Simon Volta with V Technologies. Today, I'm going to speak to you a little bit about our Starship application and how we can integrate with the Activate Inventory software. I will be demonstrating our LTL workflow inside of Starship. Starship allows you to integrate with multiple national as well as regional LTL carriers. To get started, we have a few different ways that we can get your sales order information in from Activate into our Starship application. First, we can use a wedge type scanner, scan in a barcode. If your pick ticket is barcoded, that will pull in all the sales order information that we need for the shipment. Secondly, you can type in the sales order number into this field, or we can use our lookup window here. This will open up a window that will show all of your available orders to be shipped. You can simply choose the one you're looking for, and you can load your document. Once you load your document, all of the information that's needed for the shipment to process the bill leading document will be available. So a few pieces of information that come over is the carrier service from Activate translates over to our ship via. This happens to be XBO Logistics. It automatically defaults to our account number being prepaid. For those of you who drop shipping, we can also map to specific fields inside of Activate to pull any third party or constantly billing information that we need to automatically reflect that here upon the import of that sales order. We also will map over your ship to information to the recipient area. So we've brought in all your street address information. We've done an address validation on the street address along with the zip code as well as verified as a commercial versus residential location. One of the key features of Starship is the line item integration. So as you can see below, we have two items from the sales order from Activate, our label maker and our manager's chair. They are both packed into a specific package type of my choosing. So I both pack those in each of a 10 anchor box and they're placed onto one pallet. You do have the option of adding pallets by simply clicking the icon here or adding additional cartons if needed here as well. Each item has specific informa information that we've mapped over, such as description, item number, its unit value, its unit weight. This information allows us to generate your bill leading document with the appropriate information that's needed by the specific carrier. We also store your NMFC code as well as your class and description information for that specific item so that doesn't need to be entered each and every time that you bring in this item number from Activate. One of the other key features of Starship is our ability to rate shop your carriers. So all of the rates that are shown here are your negotiated rates with each of those carriers. We do not show published rates for LTL. We will only show your contracted rates. And again, it will only be for those carriers that you have licensed through the Starship application. So by doing so, you can hit shop all. This will go out to each carrier's API. It will pull in all your negotiated rates for those specific carriers, and you can sort from lowest to highest. You will also get an estimated time of delivery that's returned as well from the API, showing you quickest delivery times available from each carrier to make that part of your decision as well. So as you can see here, you have XBO Logistics has come out on top as being the lowest, least expensive carrier, so you can leave it as XBO. However, if you wanted to change a carrier, it's simply by clicking on one of these purple boxes and you can have that available and ship it, say, RNL for this example and move that to your RNL account. As you can see, this also returned the estimated time of delivery, as I mentioned, by shipping out today, it will deliver by Friday. So once I'm ready to ship and process the shipment, I can do so by clicking this icon here or hitting F5 and now I'm ready to process my bill of lading. This will go out, send the notification out to the specific carrier, letting them know there's a pallet to be picked up, as well as create your bill of lading document that you'll see printed here in a moment. So once we get the bill of lading document, all the information that I mentioned before, such as the constant information, who you're shipping it to, all the way to your item descriptions, as well as your NMFC code will be shown on the bill leading document. So you can see that here, this is a, 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 one of the versions that we offer through the Starship application. It's called our straight BOL. 
um, or straight bill of lading. We also offer a VIX bill of lading as well as a carrier bill of lading. So you can choose either one of those um, to be printed. But a couple things here on the generic one, we do list out the carrier that you're shipping with. We've also returned a pro number, so there's no need to add a, another pro number from a roll of labels or anything that you might be doing today. And then we show, like I mentioned, the constant information along with the items uh, descriptions, as well as their NMFC item number, class, and weight, along with the total cost of the shipment. You will also then sign the bottom and to bring this to the driver for upon pickup. So once that process is, the right back to activate will occur. So if I pull up my activate uh, order here that we just worked with, this is order number 45, as you just saw. If I refresh, you'll notice on the packages tab, the pro number is written back on each of the items, and then the total charge is for the entire shipment. So the 137.17 that was reflected in Starship has been brought over as well, as well as marking the order as shipped. So now you're ready to create your invoice inside the Activate platform to sync back into QuickBooks. I appreciate you attending this quick demonstration, and we hope to hear from you soon or see you on a future webinar.